cyclists are coming, we're safe. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to show you a little method that you might have heard to before called, or referred to as slow jigging or slow bouncing or something like that. It's basically just working a lot extremely slow. Because uh, we're in winter now, as you can see. The leaves are just about gone, they're all yellow and brown and floating around in water and it's a pain in the ass uh, for fishing on. Uh, so the main issue that a lot of people have when it comes to catching big perch or predators in winter time, especially with the smaller stuff, is just working laws too fast. You don't need anything special but a game changer is using a floating law. So what I'm using at the minute is, you might have seen them, they call like stick baits or dead rigs or whatever, but I only use them uh, with a weedless hook just for the fact that I fish a lot of canals and rivers so uh, avoiding them snags and weed is an absolute must um, you can see canal behind me so this sort of method works extremely well in your slow moving waters like your canals and obviously still waters like lakes there's the other river that is pretty much still in the country loads of ducks coming so um, yeah so we'll, we'll start on this I'll give you a little tutorial uh, in a minute but first we're going to roll some clips catching some fish ah oh, it's a good perch Oh, it's a massive perch. It's a... Oh, man. Oh. Oh, Jesus, man. Please come back. That was huge. That was absolutely huge. Oh, big perch. Big perch. Big, big perch. Oh, f Ooh. Oh, it's not that big actually. It's about a pound though. <laughs> You're on this grass. Oh, it is a beautiful fish though. Oh, 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 stop, stop. Look at that. Beautiful, aren't they? You can see he's just on that stick bait. Right there, that weedless stick. Oh. Got it. Angry little dude. Get that. Today's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. Oh, wow. That one's got on Instagram. Drop him back. Water's well oxygenated, he'll go straight away. Bye bye. Like a rocky. Oh man. Awesome. First of all, it was a pike when he just swooped out and picked the thing up. <laughs> I just didn't have the film thing rolling and I've just got a donkey and it's huge. Oh my god. I was not expecting that, I thought it was a snag. Oh man. Come on, I had to set my net up properly. Oh yes. That's a donkey man. Oh. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. Jesus man. <gasps> oh I want to roll in. It's not huge though, but it's a donkey. Absolutely choked it. You can see that. Stop, 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 stop. I just want to get my law back. guys so I thought I'd bring it out to show you oh shit flipping flipping stop it it probably scraped two pound if I weighed it we're not gonna weigh this one because uh, normally if I think they're about three they get on scales but uh ooh, it's a proper fatty look at that canal monster <laughs> 
the slow bouncing that gold Ned rig looking stick bait worm thing down there. Absolute pearl of man. <laughs> I don't know, it's probably about two pound four, something like that, two pound eight. Two pound four to two pound eight, absolute stunner. We'll get her back. Okay, so I'll give you a little rundown and a little technique on how you, you work your laws extremely slow. It works perfectly any type of soft bait or small small, small soft bait you've got. You can use paddle tails, you can use stick baits, you can use flukes, <laughs> whatever. It's endless creature baits. But what you don't want to do is jig for mackerel basically. So you don't want to be doing this up and down, up and down like this. <laughs> It doesn't give the fish a chance to see it, so the idea with a slow jig is if I just flick this out, I don't need to do it, you know, properly, but you don't need your rod up in the air unless you've got some current or snags or grass and things in front of you. You can keep your rod really low and you're just literally just lightly flicking it. You're just skipping bottom. And what you get is that little tail or whatever on your rod is slowly flicking. And it's just a matter of finding a fish that's lazy on the bottom and just bringing it past its nose pretty much but it's not the most exciting unless you're actually dropping on fish left right and centre but if you want to catch in that slow water that cold water slow bouncy bottom is the way to go especially for them big predators Okay, so we've come to the end of the video now, so I want to say thanks for watching. We managed to catch our target in intended species, which was a nice big perch, a big old stripey. Uh, we managed to catch two of them. Uh, I did lose one massive fat beach ball belly one, which would have proper made the video. Uh, so uh, I'm have to come back sometime and try and catch that one again. Um, so yeah, can't really grumble. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And definitely. Don't poo in the bath. Goodbye.